Okay, here's what I've got. I've got them all turned down. I know the top's not really spectacular finish, but it is what it is. That's because of my lack of knowing what the heck I'm doing, I guess. So, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to put a neural on here. Um, I got to hold it on this part though. Either that or I have to put a bolt through. Yeah, I'll just put a bolt in it and put it in the chuck that way and see if I can get a neural going on. Worst I can do is mess it up. Now let's go ahead and get set up and I'll bring you back. You know, I was just trying to figure out how I was going to do this neural. I'm going to use the coarse one, the diamond pattern over here. But I think I'll just do it on the whole surface and then I'll use my grooving tool and I'll put a line maybe through the center of it and then the top and the bottom I'll clean up. So that'll leave two nice rows, two nice, you know, lines of neural all the way around it. I think that's what I'm going to kind of shoot for. So let's get this over there, but let me get the camera in a position where you can see what the heck I'm doing. Well, I think we're about ready to do the neural. I haven't been doing much cleanup since we started this little project here. You guys have been keeping me busy. So, we get this one going here and got three more behind it waiting. I've got her down on slow, which is what I should have had it all along doing the turning on that steel. Except to do the sample. It's supposed to be self centering, so. Whoa! Come back in again. Well, after all that shenanigans. Let's see what happens. pretty darn good. I'm gonna go Wow, well, probably should leave it alone. But one more pass. to go get my air hose. Wow, I just might leave it all just like that. Hmm. That way I don't have to worry about getting
So there's what I got for Neural. I don't think that looks too darn shabby and it, it grips hella good. So I think that's a winner and I think we ought to knock out three more of these and we'll be just about there. Thanks for watching. Well, that's the last one. Okay. Let's take a look at them and see what the heck we got here. Okay. Oh, my battery light's flashing. I better change it. But anyway, here's what we got. Two of these large ones. I think the knurling turned out exceptionally well, except especially for me. And on these, yeah, that battery thing's bugging me. Let me go ahead and put another battery in that. Well. There's the two tall ones. There's the short ones. I sure think that knurling turned out really nice. Compared to the hammers, yeah, really nice. Oh, ah, you didn't see that. Some of these fit, you know, see some of them fit tighter than others, but and I think it's the extensions, it's not the size of this, but it's, it still fits snug over here. So now I don't know what's on the agenda, but I think these things turn out pretty decent. They'll even stack on each other. Hell. Like I say, if this little chintzy one will hold a thousand pounds, you be the judge. I think, well, of course I'm partial, you know, when you're a dad, you're partial to your kids, yeah, no matter what they look like. I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. I mean, they're not show quality, but they're very workable. So here's how I have them set up. I've got little holes cut for these. There we go. Holes cut for all these. I did this on the mill. And it turned out really nice, I think. You know, after I got done with these and I cleaned them up and everything, did the knurl, I don't want them rolling around the drawer. So, I used the stop on the mill. I used a half inch cutter. These aren't cut in yet. I just have these setting on here, the round ones. I don't, I'm not sure where I want to put the holes for those yet. So, they're just sitting on top for right now. But, I'll have to make a set of these for this small one that I got here. I've got yeah, the small long extension, short extension, a piece for round and a foot. So I've got those there. Plus I got my other three and the inexpensive ones. Good night, Jax. So there's my project on the jack stands. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know there's some things I did that really it could have been done better. Differently, but better. Um, I need to learn how to center things in the chuck. Um, I just need a whole lot of learning. So with the help from you guys, I might get there someday. Okay? I don't know what day, don't, mean, don't ask me what day, so, anyway, with your help I might get there.
guess I'm going to have fun on the way. Hey, my little doggy's on my legs. So, this run. Oh, come here, baby. There, there you go. So, this run and shop dog. Wishing you a good evening. Thanks. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Like. Okay. Be safe in the workshop. I'll see you guys next time.